Hi, my friends. Let's model the part number 37, uh, the main arbor flange from my collection of 100 parts. I'll show you a picture with this uh, part. Roller bearings here for the main uh, arbor of a machine tool. The drawing has no complicated uh, features uh, but it is uh, professional and we must uh, respect all you see here there is another gas one uh, quarter uh, uh, inch which needs our attention uh, as uh, we did uh, in uh, previous uh, tutorials uh, one of them being uh, valve body uh, number 74 we'll repeat the procedure here okay then let's start with the uh, uh, modeling new millimeters the zx uh, plane the main contour is this one with a dimension of 170 radius 30 and diameter 160 we already made such kind of oval constructions let's repeat repetition is the mother of uh, good learning yes so let's repeat to have a good learning of inventor for everybody okay this is without tangency yes the other oh, and also this so let's place in these two uh, ends or connection tangencies we place on the same vertical these two then uh, let's create equality between opposite arcs and we have to make this coincident with uh, the center but before same vertical for this also these two are concentric and now center this is 130 and the 17, excuse me. A diameter of diameter one hundred and sixty, and radius of thirty. Good. This is the main. Uh, contour which is this now 25 is the thickness of this contour to be extruded twenty five but symmetrical twenty five okay 
with two holes and this two points of uh, 26 okay now we have a volume we start with the volume and then the hollow yes both with the revolving because it is the proper way and then uh, the other holes etc without any chamfer but only this you see we have two diameters here 85 and 90 and 1.5 distance this is why to uh, create expressions when we have this data uh, in the drawing these dimensions actually present here okay 115 120 and uh, 25 with 58 these are our interesting dimensions we select the plane xy f7 we draw a center line with the length of 58 placed to contain this uh, center point and uh, the proportion is somehow like this yes then we draw lines one two but not center line we create a closed contour okay this is okay good this diameter is uh, 122 the other is uh, uh, 115 dimensions are 25 and the other is the rest 258 yes fully constrained finish sketch revolve axis okay next is uh, uh, the interior yes you see line this line and then to here 90 uh, 102 33 and 20 we respect all these dimensions in the same plane we draw a first line this one and some other but not on uh, any line here yes control Z control Z line we have to not stop on a, a projected line to have a good uh, behavior here Yes, 
now we want to be on a projected line. This is center line and the last is not center line. So, dimensions now 102 90 and uh, 85 then 33 up this is to be moved here and Twenty on the other side. That uh, chamfer is uh, right here. Trim this two, and then uh, dimension. 1.5 is this 5 and the diameter of this point is uh, 90 okay fully constrained finish sketch F6 revolve cut okay good we continue with uh, this hole yes this which is that one and uh, we have to create an axis and a point to place uh, this uh, the distance is 13 from this side 13 to the axis and uh, uh, the angle is 30 degrees let's do this I turn the part somewhere here is that axis and I create a plane with minus of uh, 13 just 13 okay good and another plane uh, from this one to the axis which I don't ne need to create because this is this is the axis I select it uh, 90 plus 30 is 120 so 120 so I uh, write here 90 plus our dimension 30 to have a good uh, uh, definition the axis is at the intersection of these two planes and the point is on this surface and this intersection with the axis and now the hole the hole is special but I'll place 
this uh, diameter of six uh, hole first hole I select point then the axis and six the direction is reverted and uh, the the end is this plane yes I am sure that never uh, will be important uh, the fact that this hole is finished with a slope there nothing is uh, possible to be the other way should be to create a perpendicular plane on this plane but why why to do this okay now let's uh, go further to place this uh, uh, hole threaded hole of uh, a quarter of inch gas for pipes uh, we have to know what is the internal diameter to apply then uh, uh, the hole we have to create this hole with this depth and we don't know the diameter of internal uh, uh, thread to do this we go in the library of uh, inventor as I told you in the tutorial number 74 we do this by uh, opening file explorer this is the file explorer and we place here this path you will find this path as in the tutorial 74 also in this very tutorial and copy from there and place here yes paste this is the uh, path to the uh, table of threads in inventor go to uh, excel by double clicking here and uh, supposing you have installed microsoft excel on your computer here select the tab bsp and then look to one pair four this line and select minor diameter which is this 11 point four four five which you copy in the clipboard and then immediately you close Excel if you don't do this without saving don't change this table this is uh, uh, reference table you cannot change anything here and then go back to the inventor with uh, creating a hole you see uh, is prepared for uh, uh, that uh, diameter uh, applying control V the diameter 18 is already placed I uh, only have to show what is the point and what is the direction and of course the orientation the direction uh, of this uh, hole okay now as you can see the hole is created we don't need any more to see but they exist all these
uh, work features and then we apply a thread a thread on this face with the designation ESO pipe threads you see it is fine high uh, right hand and the depth of the thread is 14 depth is 14 okay now thread is uh, placed here okay f6 other uh, holes are these four uh, holes of uh, metric 10 on a uh, circle let's create the first one the radius is half of 135 radius of that circle yes and the position is at 45 degrees they are uh, made from the back from the small um, extrusion or revolve okay you remember 135 divided by 2 we place a point anywhere at uh, this data this must be 135 divided by 2 tab and 45 degrees this is perfectly defined this line we place a point at the end of the line when we see green is okay finish sketch hole eighteen fifteen metric ten good I can choose here ESO metric profile ten with the fifteen is the depth of the thread and 18 is the hole okay you see everything is placed here okay let's have a presentation here and now circular pattern for this last feature you see is selected also here using this uh, uh, axis four of them and that's all good what else what else nothing but the chamfers as I remember and uh, fillets let's start with fillets two millimeters in two places two edges this two is by default and two okay now we come back to the standard position our standard position and we place one at 45 degrees one two three four five yes 
five again one two three four five so this two one end the other two on the other end and one inside because this is already placed chamfer one to both internal external and also on the on this end to this yes the other is already placed you see okay f6 and now the face is to be machined this also this the other is on this face this one the two holes this face and this face yes to be polished now the part is finished it's data I updated it four kilos and a quarter okay that's all for the moment bye bye